So I did a little doctor experiment. I decided to take 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C at one time. I'm gonna show you what happened and why that would be a bad idea probably for you. But there is a risk of taking too much vitamin C, although it's a great super nutrient. So let me go through some of the overdoses of vitamin C and I'll show you my little story, my little experiment of being the guinea pig, I guess, so that you can learn. And if you take really high doses for a long time, does it have any side effects? Also, from that perspective, is how much is the high dose? I'm gonna answer all those questions and then show you my kind of gross uh, experiment when I took 10,000 of it, what it actually did to my system. So it's undoubtedly really important for your body. It's necessary, but you can accidentally do too much. And if you do, what happens? So how much vitamin C do we need, all right? The recommended daily value according to the FDA, is 65 to 90 milligrams per day. I think that is incredibly low. I think we need a lot more of that. And keep in mind, vitamin C is water soluble, which means it, you, when you put it into the body, your body either uses it or it works on removing it. And then you have to take more the next day. So every day you're gonna have to replenish your amount of vitamin C inside of your system. It doesn't store up like fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin C is passed through along with your B vitamins. So simply put, Consuming a vitamin C supplement by itself is unlikely to cause any kind of accident because it just flushes out every single day. But what are some of the recommended doses? If you're an infant, 400 milligrams or less is ideal. For kids, 650 milligrams uh, or less for four to eight year olds. 1200 milligrams or less for kids is age 13 or younger. 1800 milligrams, 18 and younger. When we get to adults, somewhere between 2000 to 4000 is gonna be your limit for a daily basis. And I'm gonna show you some of the research to show that. So what happens, and maybe you've heard before, if I take too much vitamin C long-term, what does it do? And then I'll show you what happens if you just take a lot acutely, but what does it do chronically? Kidney stones is one concern. There's some research to suggest that taking too much vitamin C could accidentally lead you to excrete uric acid and oxalates in your urine. So this in turn could lead to kidney stones or you know, kind of a buildup of these harder materials and these wastes that clog your urethra and lead to severe pain. So this being said, uh, there is no direct correlation between taking more than 2000 milligrams of vitamin C per day and developing kidney stones. The side effect was only developed from a large amount. It was basically a case where a woman developed kidney stone after eating four grams or more of vitamin C every day over a four month period of time. So let's just not go with four grams. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit uh, at once, <laughs> let alone every single day for a four month period of time. So if you're staying around that 2000 or below, you're doing fantastic. There is some bone spur connection, according to the Arthritis Foundation, that along those same lines, if you are taking that high dose, four grams, or more for a lengthy period of time, it can increase the amount of bone formation going on in the body, which could exacerbate painful bone spurs, especially if you already have degeneration going on. So we don't want to overdo it if we are dealing with kidney issues. We don't want to overdo it for dealing with arthritis issues. And then we want to look out for nutrient imbalances. And there's a couple scenarios where I wouldn't recommend overdoing vitamin C. One of them being if your iron is too high. Now you can simply test your ferritin levels inside of your body, which will give you a really good idea if you're just carrying around too much iron and too much um, you know, heaviness in the blood. If that number's too high, it's been directly relinked to stroke risk. It has nothing to do with vitamin C at this point. Um, but I have people, I recommend people with my blood work list to test their ferritin levels. If it is high, you'll wanna give blood. And if your iron, if you were to measure that and it is high, most people are on the other end, they're anemic and they don't have enough iron. Um, but if you did, then in those two scenarios, high ferritin, high iron, I would not recommend you taking high doses of vitamin C. I would keep it on a lower end, 500 to 1,000 milligrams, right? It also can interfere and reduce the levels of copper and B vitamins that get absorbed into the body uh, to, in order to, for the body to compensate. Could lead to ancillary side effects inside of your body to produce some of the other key vitamins and minerals if you overdo it for too long. So the main one to focus on though is iron levels. If you are deficient in iron and you are anemic, vitamin C is super important to be getting into the system. I would recommend around 2000 a day, 1000 to 2000 is a very good mark for almost any age during that period of time, especially to get the um, iron up and especially to bolster your immune system. But what happens if you take 10,000 milligrams in a day? Vitamin C is water-soluble. We explained this already. 
And what it does is it's, your body's gonna absorb what it needs and the rest of it passes through you. So vitamin C immediately initiates a bowel movement. So within 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C going into the body within an hour or two, I was experiencing, yes, a nature's laxative in the form of ascorbic acid. So I would not recommend going too high. If you do experience bowel intolerance, when you are taking vitamin C, there's your clue that you're taking too much because your body is saying, I don't need this water soluble supplement, so I'm going to empty it into the digestive tract to get it out of me quickly. But that was my experience with taking 10,000 milligrams. If you ever need an, a laxative or maybe you can't go to the restroom or you need a quick fix for constipation, it would not be my go-to. Uh, healthy eating would be my go-to and a balanced diet and fiber and magnesium and movement would be my go-to. But vitamin C might be an option, so I found out. So. If you're taking too much of it, you'll know because your bowels will get intolerant. I would stay around the 1,000 to 2,000 range and you'll be good to enjoy this incredibly important water-soluble nutrient of vitamin C. Get the resources that you need to make health simple. Check some more out on this channel and more right here.